This is Access Road to Nalia, a lavish residential suburb of Kampala, where five men, all suspected to be Bulgarian nationals, have been renting a property. But on Thursday, security group personnel arrested four of the men as they were trying to install skimming devices to a Stanbic bank ATM in Natete. The four are understood to be Milen Katsaski, Adrian Dimitrov, Ivan Ganchev Emilov, and Anton Ivanov. It is alleged that their suspects have been fixing highly sophisticated schemers on ATMs which are hard to detect. The skimming device is basically a card reader. So once a card comes to transact on the machine, the, the customer's card is copied. Details on the cards is copied onto the skimming device. And then they also installed a camera on the ATM and the, the camera then picks the customer's card as the customer is entering. The suspects are believed to have mainly targeted banks that normally have enclosed ATM booths, which allow them to fix their devices unnoticed. We ask our customers when they go to ATM, while entering the pin, they have to cover the pin with their hand. The men were allegedly using a microchip and a phone battery to gain access to all the bank customers' accounts. They used the screwdrivers to dismantle the machines and change the ATM settings. They are also understood to have tampered with the security cameras inside the ATM booth so the alarm could not be raised on their activities. Then it is understood that they identified and then targeted the accounts which were holding huge sums. Once back at their rented property, they made ATM cards, changed the PIN numbers and withdrew the money in smaller installments. At the time of their arrest, they were found with 45 visa cards and a list of 45 PIN numbers with a total of 28 million shillings. We have no proof for this, but we believe that this technology is imported from Western Europe. Some of the ATMs where the suspects had installed their skimming devices include Kansanga, Kisementi, Bugolobi, Ntinda, and Baisi, among others. Other targeted towns are said to be our country towns like Gulu and Lira. The suspects are also alleged to have been getting the money and sending back to their home country. Although Stan Big Bank staff has not come out to clearly quantify how much they have lost, it is estimated to be in billions of shillings. However, to stop this from happening in the future, for Stan Big Bank and other banks that have fallen prey, need to spend a lot of money to shift from magnetic stripe technology that had become easy for the fraudsters. What we mean is that if they go to Europe, and copy customers' card from there. Because of the new EMV technology in Europe, uh, the cards cannot be used in Europe. But when they come to Africa, the card falls back to magnetic stripe, which is basically the ATM we have. But the cost is levied on the bank, which becomes the major victim of such clandestine devices and hacking. Stanbic Bank now is planning in 2013 to move to the new technology. It is alleged that some of these men were previously arrested in Nairobi and charged 30,000 Kenyan shillings before being released. We will try and liaise with Kenya and get the court ruling and that will then be part of the evidence we will back for this particular case. After over three hours of thorough examinations of the property, detectives discovered lots of incriminating evidence which include laptops, screwdrivers, data cables, hammers and tape measures. Police say they are still hunting for one accomplice who is alleged to have run away with more gadgets. For now, Stanbic Bank is counting losses as it prepares to compensate over 200 of its customers that have fallen victims of this racket. Wasting your time. Why? Tanzania too is said to be grappling with the same problem of highly organized professional criminals using highly sophisticated devices and knowledge to extort huge sums of money from personal accounts without their customers even noticing. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.